Hey everybody, Dave Williamson here, ToyCarCollector.com, and this seems like a good day to rip open some Blackwall Blister Pack Hot Wheels, and what I mean by that are muscle cars, for the most part. I absolutely love Hot Wheels muscle cars and some other favorites. Here is a big box of Hot Wheels. Now, most of these are older. I have accumulated these at different toy shows and conventions and things. I probably got about 300 that I've never opened and I want to open every single one of them now if you are a collector of newer Hot Wheels like that I recommend highly recommend the Tomart's price guide to Hot Wheels this version here I have in my hand is 1997 to 2008 this is a Tomart guy and here's his name right here it's a first edition and this book is available from HobbyDB that's HobbyDB.com and if you go there, you can look up this book. This is a fantastic book for Hot Wheels release from 2008 to 2017. And if you weren't aware of how many Hot Wheels they have made in the last few years, it is amazing. It, take a look at this book. This is no, this is no quick read. There is a zillion cars in here. All different models and variations on those models. I'm trying to put together a complete list of the cars that I like so that I can go after more of the variations. With that said, Hobby DB for this Hot Wheels guide by Jim or James as he's put it on the new book. It's first edition 2008 2017, completing 50 years of Hot Wheels diecast cars. There are many guides available. There's also another guide available by Mike Zarnock, and that book is available on Amazon, and I'll have the link below in the in the uh, what do they call that down there below the uh, I don't know not just above the comment section and below the video that area the description that's right the description okay let's get started on ripping some blister packs <laughs> I'll be setting up here today in my little photo studio. Photo studios are available on Amazon. I will have links for you below in some of the items that I really like. This photo studio is awesome. These lights, look at that thing, are awesome. And check this out. This is my adapter that I use to put my phone on. You just clamp it in there, stick it right on the tripod, and you're ready to go and make your YouTube video. Also handy for taking pictures when you're traveling or family photos for the holidays. Really fantastic. All right, let's get started. All right, looking in my box, I see some Camaros. I love me some Camaros. Look at this 81 Camaro. This one's not too old. 2017 Camaro 50 series in a short pack. Look at this blue one. I think I've only, I only saw this car on the shelf like maybe once. Maybe once on a shelf in the half card. Now, for all you guys who can't find any new Hot Wheels, I find that at my grocery store, I can usually find something new on the half pack by the register. So I usually go there to look because the scalpers don't like the half cards. They don't sell well. But look at that 81 Camaro. Looks nice. Is that supposed to go straight up like that? It's kind of angled up. Seems like it might have, should have been more straight. But, uh, you know, you got to see a few models to get the most perfect one you can find. But there's the 81 Camaro. Grabbing the next one up. Oh, that one's a Firebird, not a Camaro. Let's try this Camaro 50. Looks just like the same model I just opened, 81 Camaro. This one came out about 2016 or 17. And uh, the card was messed up, so it was still on the peg. A lot of people don't want to get the messed up cards, but I open them, so I'm okay with that. Here is the green. Oh, I just noticed it does have a roll bar inside. That is really, really fantastic. That roll bar looks great. I'm just messing with my phone here, turning up the brightness. Let me get back. Oh, there we go. Now I can see it perfectly. That is a beauty. Look at that. Now, what do we got? We've got gold, five spoke wires, and, and then we've got the silver. And then another Camaro, this one, an 85 Camaro IROC. Man, they sure changed that design in a few years from the 81 Camaro to the 85. It's a lot different car. That was a neat car back in the day, 80s, man. Whew, the cars were cool. They still are pretty cool. A lot more expensive, of course, than back in the day. Some of the nice cars, let's see, we'll put the 81s over here. Camaros, but the 95 Camaro over there. Let's see, do we have some more Camaros? Come on, man, give me some Camaros. Give me Camaro, Firebird, Corvette. Uh, let's see, if I don't have any 
I don't see any more Camaros. Let's go for something totally different. Hey, how about an Indy 500 oval in the Gulf? You know, everybody loves the Gulf cars. They're so cool. And there really aren't that many really cool Indy cars in the Hot Wheels lineup, except some of the specialty ones they did a few years back. But this is a really a neat car. Look at that. And, you know, I'm pretty sure I only saw one of those in the store. Let's just go random here now. 73 Pontiac Firebird. This one with a pearl, purple paint job. Wow, this is cool. This was the... Uh, Target Series 2015 came with like four, eight different models that were really cool. Turbine time is kind of cool. I haven't spent too much time looking at that model, but this is where the IROC came from. That 84 Corvette looks really good too. I should have one of those around here someplace, but I don't keep real good track of these cars because I don't want to spend a lot of time thinking about it. I just want to enjoy this, this particular type of Hot Wheels. I just look for ones I don't have and uh, try to pick them up and put them together. Let's see, we'll put the Firebird next to the Camaros up here. Let's get these in tight here so we can do quite a few. We wanted to do quite a few here today. Here's a nice GTO, Pontiac GTO. This one from 2005, uh, 2006 first edition actually, and 69 Pontiac GTO. This one in a maroon red, or reddish maroon, and with the chrome five-spoke wheels, my favorite, personal favorites. Chrome interior, don't really care for the chrome interiors, but uh, you know, if a guy had time, he could take these apart and swap up some interiors. You know, you gather up a few extra ones with a black interior and then swap that out with a chrome or just paint the thing. If you had time, that'd be a fun thing to do for all you guys who have time and the skills and all that, because you can you can take these apart and put them back together. There's a system that you can use that comes from brightvisionwheels.com. That's brightvisionwheels.com where you can drill out the bottom here and uh, use this tap to make a screw hole and then you can screw the car back together. Always wanted to try that, but just never got around to it. I even bought a drill press to do that with. Anyway, here's the black GTO. Look at that beauty. That is a wonderful car in the black GTO. Wow. All right, that is good. All right, putting up the black GTO there. All right, black GTO. All right, next one up is a blue GTO. This one's 70 model. A little different than that 69. Uh, you can see the differences pretty carefully here. It's got the spoiler on the rear. It sticks up. Neat looking car. Almost looks like a GTO. Like a, well, it is a GTO. It almost looks like a Chevelle. But let's see. Let's see the differences there. You see that spoiler is a little different right there. Can we see it? Are we focusing? It's also so hard to get the right focus on Hot Wheels and getting up so close. Look how nice those are. Those are good, good looking Hot Wheels. There's a lot of good looking Hot Wheels. They sp particularly made a lot of nice Hot Wheels this year, I think. Here's a new one. I actually picked one of these up off the shelf the other day, and I wasn't sure if I had it already, but here it is. I did have it already. So open this one and see what we've got. I do like this wheel with the gold and a plain steel inside. That's pretty neat. Firebird red. What year is that? 67 Pontiac Firebird. Wow, that's old. 67 Pontiac Firebird. This is a neat one from the 50s. What is this? What do they call this series? It's called uh, the 50s something or other. Hot Wheels 50. Hmm. Anyway, there was a bunch of cars in this series. Ten of them, exactly. I think I actually have all of them, and I'm going to reveal them in another, another video, but I really particularly like this Monte Carlo. So the first time I saw this series, I just picked up the Monte Carlo, left the rest. There it is, the Monte Carlo. Look at that thing with the spoiler on top. Hmm, that is cool. Man, oh man, look at that. Wow. I need to stare more at the screen and get that focus done right. Look at that. That is a beauty. Wow, we put that one down. Okay, next one up. What do we got? What do we got? We've got Monte Carlo again, 86 Monte Carlo SS. Is that what the other package said? It did. It did say 86 Monte. And this one is from 2013 or something like that. And here she is in the black. Monte Carlo SS. Oh, this one's shiny. It's all get outs too. Look at that. Wow, that is a shiny car. Let's put those down there. Whoa, get up there, Firebird. Real nice. Look at that. Wow, wow. And we've got another GTO 70 model. This one has got a little more, a 
little more realistic look to it. Look at that. See what I'm saying about the black interior? Look at that. Now, if you got a bunch more of this particular, well, wait a second. I guess it's those two that have the chrome, right? These two have the black. Looks so much more realistic. Man, that is a great for a dollar car. Look how realistic that thing is. That is gorgeous. Neat thing I like about the realistic ones is if you really wanted to go crazy, you could get a real car like that and paint it to match the Hot Wheels car. That would be so cool. Oh, heck. Here's a, what is this? Olds 442. This one is a 2010. I like the Olds 442s. I know I've got several already. And with the spoiler on the back, does it come off like the original? No, it doesn't. Look how cool that is. Very nice. You know what would be really fun would be to put real riders on every one of these cars. Oh my gosh, that would be so cool. Here's another Olds 442. This one in the Aqua Metallic. This one's one of the prettiest ones. Definitely a pretty one. And it's got these neat five-spoke wheels on it. Definitely better looking than these over here. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. The top wheels, those are neat. White interior. You could swap those around. Change one to black, one to white. Swap them back and forth. If you wanted to take cars apart, it wouldn't really cost too much. You wouldn't have a whole lot of money into it. You could make you some new variations, put some rubber tires on. It's a lot of fun things. There's a lot of customizers. And, man, I see the guys who do customizing. Those channels are so popular. Hot Wheels 695, six, excuse me, 1965 Pontiac GTO. This one is an old one, 2008, 2008 model. And we'll rip it open, we'll rip that baby. Don't have to worry about running out of these kind of cars in blister pack. There's thousands of them out there. Every day somebody says they have a garage full of Hot Wheels and wants to know what to do with them. And I just tell them... Buy more. That's what you need to do. Buy more. Add to it. Get two garages full. What the heck? Here is the... That is... Gosh. I'm mm, just amazed at how pretty that is. It almost looks like a 64 Grand Prix, but it's a 69 GTO. It's nice and flat. Look how flat that is. Kind of like reminds me of a Galaxy. Look at that. That thing is beautiful. Wow. That is so beautiful. Mm, mm, mm. What's this? What's this now? Also a 65 GTO, this one from about 2008 as well. 2008 All-Stars, it says right there. Man, you know, in 2008, that really is about, 2007, 2008 is about when they started making some decent Hot Wheels again. Now, you know, like I, like everyone, when you go to the store, you're not necessarily going to see the really nice Hot Wheels because they get taken, they get taken away so quickly. They do. All of the funny kid cars are always left behind and you don't get what you're looking for. Hey, how about this? I really like the Rivieras. This is a 64 Riviera. I know I got about 10 different variations on this one, 2006. But if you get those guidebooks, if you get the guidebooks, then you can find out all the variations to the Hot Wheels. And then you can make yourself a want list so you can go after it and get all of the coolest Hot Wheels that you want. This, to me, is beautiful. This, to me, is a beautiful Riviera. Wow, that's so nice. Look at how exciting the colors are on that. Put her down here. Let's see. How about a couple more? All right, a Buick GSX. What the heck? Let's just go through this whole box, get them all open, and then I can start with getting a new list of cars to get out. This one, GSX. That's a really neat car. There's a lot of variations of that. It's really nice. How about this one? Let's get this one open, and then we'll call it good for today. A 63 Chevy 2. This also from, I think, a Target set. Yeah. Oh, it had a GTO convertible in there that I, I need. I like the Bolts, or the Corvettes. This is the 63 Chevrolet. Nova. My grandmother had a Nova like this. I really like the Nova. Oh, wow, look at that. Hmm. That is a gorgeous car. I've seen a few Novas all fixed up, and they are beautiful. The Nova. Nova. Beautiful. All right, well, that's all today for Toy Car Collector opening fabulous muscle cars. Let's take a final look. That's right, a final look at some of the beauties here that we've opened up today on ToyCarCollector.com. Look at those GTOs and Pontiac Monte Carlos, Chevrolet Monte Carlos. Oh my goodness, David. All right, there's Olds 442, Olds 442, Golf Racer over there, GTOs over there, GTOs, more GTOs, and a Pontiac Firebird. There's a Buick GSX, some Camaros, and one Firebird. 
couple of Camaros over there and they are all beautiful they're gonna head down into the collection all my collection of these type of cars are kept in the Plano jammer cases let's take a quick look at the jammer case all right here is the creative options jammers case let me just show you this these are fantastic and these are available on Amazon for about $11.50. Link below. Go on down there. Click on that link. Go to Amazon and get you some of these cases. They are fantastic. Now, the only thing that I do differently is I do add these white cards. This is so that you can get things out of the case. But I like these white cards. It really puts a nice look to it. Now, this is like my uh, sports cars collection box. Look at how beautiful some of these cars are. Looks like I need to move these around a little bit got too much but man you know over the years hot wheels has made some of the most fantastic cars and even though i can't seem to have trouble getting them to focus in today sorry about that folks and here is the you know look at this ford gt and look at that thing that's so gorgeous anyway that was the collection for today this is the jammers case go to amazon get you some of these cases you won't regret it i have a, at least a hundred of these things around here somewhere at, that i have full of new hot wheels that I love because I absolutely love Hot Wheels and I buy every one that I can that I love and I have been doing it for so many years you wouldn't believe it. I don't like to collect them in the packages, not these new ones. I like to collect them loose. Look at that thing. What is that? That is beautiful. That's a Shadow MK2 or 11 or something like that. Look how gorgeous that is. You just have to get every Hot Wheel when you see it because you may never see it again. But, of course, most of this stuff is available on eBay as well these days if you ha really absolutely have to have something. Look at that. Anyway, support your local toy show. Uh, come on over to my website, toycarcollector.com, and see what I've got for sale. And you guys have a good day, and happy hunting for Hot Wheels. And may you have many piles of empty packages. Bye now.